Is your plein air setup working? More importantly, is it working for you? I tried this. It's what your art teacher in college tells you to get whenever you get into their class. This. My Maybeth wooden easel. They are amazing. I can't say anything bad about Maybeth. It's pretty light and it articulates in many ways. So it's actually really good for watercolor. Um, it's I use it here in my studio as well. But last time I was out with it, I broke it. <laughs> so I don't want to break it. This. A very lightweight aluminum easel. It does not have as many points of articulation as the Maybeth does. And so this really doesn't make it good for watercolor. So it's out. This Alps Mountaineering foldable table. It's lightweight. You can use it as a seat or a table. And this, it's fantastic. This flips up on this hinge. So you can see that this was made for oil painting, either on plein air or it's just a really good tabletop traveling shot box. This can hold panel board so that you can paint. So if this were completely clean, it could just go on top and you could have three panels stashed away. In the past, however, I have actually used this as a way to separate my painter's palette from everything else. And so I would slide it back in here and it couldn't move. This comes out. So then you have a nice little cubby for everything. And then under here, I've been storing paper, this watercolor block. If I didn't want to be more mobile, I think that this would be okay, except for that you still need a table of some sort. You need something to put it on. They all worked, but they didn't work for what I wanted to do. I had something very particular in mind. So after some deliberation, I had to make a purchase. This is the Etcher Lab Slate. I can actually put my laptop in here. This is made for digital artists as well as analog artists. I can put a sketch pad or you could put your tablet. But for me, I got this specific size watercolor block. This way I can paint wherever I go or for this little tiny watercolor block. This mesh bag, I can actually take this out completely. Everything here can be taken up. It doesn't have to stay there if you don't like it. This is great as pencil holder, marker holder, paintbrush holder. So it's not going anywhere. Here on the back, I have this male part for a tripod that has the female part. I don't need a table, I just need the tripod and this, which will go right into it. But if I don't need it, I can just take it right out because this can also be slung around me where I can just prop it up against my own body and not take a tripod. I wanted something that would fit in this bag. It's not waterproof or leak proof, so I will have to let things dry to a certain point before I can pack up and leave. And that's okay because so far what I've noticed is everything dries so fast, faster than I want it to. And I'm constantly re-wetting my paper, re-wetting my paints. Uh, watercolor is just really hard. If I twist this, this will move everywhere. It'll spin freely. And like any other high quality tripod, this has everything you would hope for. Three levels for extending legs. Gravity bed. So I don't have to pull it out if I just point it down and I can adjust it as I'm out in the field. This will go to here. However, if I pull out this piece, then I can get this to move a lot more so that it moves all the way, and that's that's a three tier system. There's one, two, and three. Like I said, pretty standard for a good tripod. This turning piece will allow this to extend here. One of the reasons that I went with this tripod instead of a much lighter watercolor tripod is because this one would also accommodate an oil plein air setup. This one is quite strong. It's meant to hold a lot more weight, uh, therefore it weighs a bit more, but it's not gonna break as easily as a wooden easel. It's still not perfect, but I can't wait to try it out. Now the truth is you don't need to go out and invest in an art bag and a tripod. You could get this done as easily with just putting a watercolor block inside of your backpack, some paint brushes, painter's palette, and of course, a little bit of paper towels. The best advice that I could give anyone is think about what you wanna do. Do you wanna drive to the site to do some plein air painting? Or do you wanna hike out? Or like me, do you wanna bike there? This is how I want to plein air. Make sure you check out the video to see how this works out. Can you see? Yeah, all of it. Even your head. Even my head? Yeah, okay. your whole head. My Even bald head. head. <laughs> That's funny, Mom. <laughs>